So we're just a half hour outside of New York and we're in a park where there's an ice covered pond. And you know, there are a couple things you have to keep in mind if you're going to go venture out and ice skate. One thing to make sure, just make sure that the pond is in a municipality, a municipality that checks the ice all the time. I'm joined now by Rodney DePrenda. Now, Rodney, you check this ice every day, daily. What exactly yes. do you do? Uh, well, when we first start off, we look for the cold weather to make sure that we have uh, frozen water. And I would start off by checking the edges to make mm -hmm. sure that they're thick enough. Because if you can't get in from the edges, you can't get any further out. Right. So now that you're out, you have a equipment. We're going to show this live on TV. Now we talk about how how thick does the ice have to be to be safe? A minimum of four inches of black ice. Black ice. Okay. So let's see what you do. This is what he does on a daily uh, basis. So he's drilling into the ice as you see right now, and he's going to measure it once that drill bit comes out. We say four inches of black ice. Black ice is because it's clear and there's no impurities like salt or runoff or anything that makes it cloudy. So now you're sticking in your tape measure and there's an edge on the tape measure. That's basically how what's going to happen. It'll get that edge and it'll hook up onto the bottom of the ice. So then you're going to see how deep it is. So he's looking at it right now. It looks like it's almost five inches thick. All right, so here yeah. we go. Five inches thick. Here's it <laughs> upside down. You have to stand in your hair to see it. So you go five inches thick. So that's that's a good thickness for everybody. Now this entire pond is open here for ice skating from yes. from dawn until dusk. Yes. And another thing we want to mention is when so people know that it's safe here. What do you have out? Uh, we have a green flag that we post so that passer buyers can know that it. It's safe for public to go on it. Okay. Uh, there's also our uh, recreation department. They have a, an IT person that maintains and says uh, like the that website the website and everything. Right. And that's probably something we were talking yesterday that if you're going into a municipality, check the website to make sure. Um, and another thing I do want to mention last week we talked about that dangerous cold. We had a danger, danger cold throughout the uh, whole region and, and much of the country, millions of people affected. That actually helped this situation because this wasn't open last year. Right. What happened last week that allowed us to be on this ice right now? The nice cold temperatures. Um, no rain to wash any of the salt in from the snowstorms, uh, just made it freeze uh, nice and smooth, hard, and there was no snow mixed in with the water to give you this nice hard right surface. Okay, so uh, 20 degree <clears throat> temperatures below for four days in a row. That happened last week. Friday is when this bad boy opened and it's been open steadily since then.